Welcome to the advanced concept of modifiers pertaining to verb ing and verb ed modifiers. You will begin this concept with the optional pre-assessment quiz. Then you will learn some specific rules for modifiers starting with verb ing as tested in GMAT. You will also review the applicable rule for verb ed modifiers. In the end, you will take the post-assessment quiz to determine your current skill level. So let's get started. Click on the appropriate button to learn this concept. The primary rule that governs all sentence correction questions is that the sentence must convey the intended meaning without any ambiguity. For modifiers, this implies that all modifiers must be placed appropriately and must be worded correctly. Typically, a modifier must be placed close to the entity that it modifies. This is always true for all verb ed modifiers. Even though this concept is not really new to you, for the sake of comparison with verb ing modifiers, we will review a few examples to note certain correct and incorrect usages of verb ed modifiers. Next, verb ing modifiers are very versatile modifiers since they can either modify the noun or the complete clause. Since verb ing modifiers typically represent an action, we will also learn about the tenses. Now click on any of the buttons to view the details. Verb ed modifiers follow a very straightforward rule. They modify the closest noun. Read the first example sentence. In this sentence, designed to withstand low earth orbit radiation for 20 years is the verb ed modifier, and it correctly modifies the closest noun, the spaceship. Read the next example sentence. Here the modifier has been placed right after the noun that it modifies. Now read the last example sentence. The placement of modifier has been changed and in this repositioning the modifier no longer modifies the spaceship. It modifies the closest noun, materials, due to which the sentence has lost its intended meaning. Poor quality materials are designed to withstand low Earth orbit radiation for 20 years is incorrect. So always make sure that the verb ed modifier is placed correctly such that it modifies the closest noun appropriately.